if you have take up Melayu like me, that's an appetite for Malay cuisine, then Langkawi is definitely a good place to be in because not only would you find masakan utara tradisi, that's traditional northern style of Malay cooking, but you also find offerings from other states in Malaysia. Hey you and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And yes, there are plenty of cheap eats on the island if you want to opt for the warung warungs, the stalls and the little cafes. But once in a while, it's nice to give yourself a little treat. And today, we are opting for a much more classier setting. I've read about this place initially from the Instagram of Chef One. Malaysia's very own celebrity chef and I've been telling myself that mm, we must drop by here one day. Here we are in Sekapo Sire and it's located, let me see, approximately 15 minutes drive from the Langkawi airport in this area called Bukit Lembu. It highlights a traditional Malay kampung setting in a lush, lush tropical garden. It's really very well done, very well built. It has a restaurant and it has accommodation. I believe um, it has uh, 10 villas to the back of the restaurant. In this traditional Malay house, uh, at the bottom is the restaurant and if you take the steep kampung style steps up to this portion, I thought this one is a gift shop, but it's not. It houses the personal collection of the owner's family heirlooms. I feel so lucky that I managed to convince Kaka to go out for lunch with me today. And Kaka is a lady who helps to take care of my tiny little pet on the island. And she's such a superwoman that I seriously can't do without her. She's also a very good friend. Okie doke, let's see what we put on the table. We have masak lemak daging salai, which is really very good. It has a nice smoky taste to the beef. And also my favorite asam fish. Anywhere I go, I love my asam fish. And also sambal udang. Food-wise, it is really very, very good. It's absolutely delicious. Although, um, just one little comment here. The portion tends to be on the small side. So when it comes to the ikan pari for the asam fish, I only wish that they didn't, they didn't, excuse me, cut it into small pieces because it's quite difficult to dissect the meat when it comes in such tiny pieces. Just my opinion there. Jom, I nak makan dulu ya. Yeah? And this is Gobble Guzzle signing off. And be kind always and spread peace. And I'll see you again on my next vlog. Jaga diri ya. Yeah? Take good care and bye-bye.